Yeah, it doesn't seem like they're going to, though. We're here in his district, Eric Cantor's district in Richmond, Virginia. He's out talking to small businesses today. So we asked him about the state of business, what Congress can do about business. And he talked about taxes, specifically House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi's offer to keep taxes where they are for those earning a million dollars a year or less. A bit of a concession, especially for Democrats. Still, Cantor says Republicans reject that proposal. I don't think that uh, raising taxes on anybody when you're trying to grow the economy is a good thing. And in fact, think about what you're doing. When you tax people more, you're allowing Washington to spend that money, not the people that earn it. And I've always been one to think that let the people that earn the money have more of that back or allow them to keep it so that they can put it to its most efficient use. Cantor also says that he would accept offers from Democrats to talk about this right now before we get to after the election, that period where the fiscal cliff that you mentioned a short while ago, Daggett, occurs. He says he wants Democrats to be in the same mindset they were a couple of years ago when the economy, they say, was just too weak to raise taxes on anyone, so they extended all tax rates for a couple of years. He also says when it comes to the health care law, if the Supreme Court fails to strike it down, among the top things they'll do in the House if Republicans retain the House next year will be to vote to repeal the the entire thing. As for J.P. Morgan Chase and Facebook, he says it shouldn't be a reason for Congress to rush to override.